I curated the Quay Bowls retrospective. Okay. Okay. How did the selection from this gentleman like the whole like, process? Well, to be perfectly honest, if you are doing a retrospective of a filmmaker, curating, I always think, is a rather strange word because usually curating means making a selection when you have just the work of the body, work of one filmmaker or even twins who work together. It's not exactly the same thing, so it becomes more a question of how much programming time do you have? They have made more films than, they have made more films than the time you have, so you have to make some choices. And I made choices really based on trying to think, to show different aspects of their filmmaking career. So they have made short films which is their idea. They have made films which are commissioned, which somebody says, why don't you do this? And also because they are Americans who have kind of imaginatively transported themselves to Central Europe and have a knowledge of Central European music, literature, drama, cinema. I wanted to try and choose some of the films they made that reflected that because we are a Central European country. And the Quay Brothers are, it's a very unusual kind of stop frame, you know, bottle animation. Usually, when we think of model animation, we think it is closer to live action because you have characters, you have sets, you have lighting, so in a way, and it is nearly always very narrative. The Quay Brothers are more experimental and they are more interested in creating atmospheres. So sometimes people say, I don't understand the story. And I think it's really, it's very strange. Audiences usually love their films, or they really don't like them. And in a way, if you go and see Quay Brothers film, it's a little bit like music. When you listen to music, you don't say, what's the story? You just feel it. No, they are often exploring kind of feelings and emotions. They sometimes are based in literary works. But, for example, they have taken um, a novel by Bruno Schultz, who was a Czech writer. No, yes, Czech published, yeah. Um, but they don't, just as his writing is not a straightforward narrative, they're more interested in giving you a feel. They have more recently made a film based on Stanislas Lem, a Polish writer. They have made films about Janacek, the composer. They have made films about Stravinsky. But the strange thing is, most people get very gaga -ga 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 trying to describe their films because they really are very unique and quite strange. What I would say is, for example, if you like the films of David Lynch, if you like the films of Boracek, if you like the films of Schwenkmeyer, if you like the films of Guy Madin, the Canadian, they all are filmmakers who create very special worlds. Tarkovsky, does that give you a, a kind of location? Yeah.